All right, here we have our function. Here we have our function, g of t is equal to 1 minus 2t over 3 plus t. Let's do the following. Find the domain, and then we'll use the definition of derivative to find its derivative, and we'll also find the domain of the derivative. So here we go. The domain for this one is just that because we have the t on the bottom, so we have to make sure that 3 plus t cannot be 0, meaning that t cannot be negative 3. So let's write this in interval notation. It will just be from negative infinity to negative 3. Do not include this though. And then union from negative 3 to positive infinity. So this is just a way to say that it's pretty much negative infinity to positive infinity, except for the number negative 3. All right, so with that done, now let's go ahead and do g prime of t. This is the limit as h approaching 0. And then we will have capital G. And then here inside will be t plus h, and then minus the original g of t, and then all over h. OK, yeah, this is the limit as h approaching 0. We have h on the bottom. So we are going to put a t plus h into here and here. So we will have 1 minus 2 times t plus h, and then over 3 plus, this is t plus h, and then minus the original, which is 1 minus 2t over 3 plus t. OK. That's pretty much the setup. And now to take care of this, we will first have to take care of the complex fractions. Let's multiply the top and bottom by the lowest common denominator, which is this and that. Let's put down 3 plus t, and then 3 plus t plus h. And then do the same thing here, 3 plus t, 3 plus t plus h. Cool. OK. Let's go ahead and multiply the out and see what happens. Here we have the limit as h approaching 0. When we take this, multiply by that, this and that will cancel. So we just have this times that. So for this part, though, let's write it as 1 minus 2. Let's put it inside, of course, right? Distribute inside. So minus 2t and then minus 2h. And then we put this in your parentheses because we have to multiply by 3 plus t. And then here we have the minus. And then when we have this times that, the 3 plus t will cancel. But here we have that 1 minus 2t. We will have to multiply with this, which is 3 plus t plus h. And then all divided by that, which is h times 3 plus t times 3 plus t plus h. Whew, I know, it's a lot. And then right here, here's the thing. Do not cancel all this and that. No. Why? Because we have to actually multiply this and that first, and then combine like terms with the other module of operation, all right? So do not cancel anything else yet. Let's just go ahead and simplify this. Let's see what happens. Limit as h approaching 0. Don't complain. I'm doing this for you guys too, all right? I'm doing this with you guys, or for you guys. So yeah, no complaint. Complaint doesn't really work. I know it's good to just like complain, oh, it's so hard or so long or so, but after you complain, just continue to do it. All right, anyway, this right here, multiply this, I'll put one times this was so three plus t, and one times this, one times that. Then I will do negative two t times that, which is negative six t, and then negative 2t squared. Next, I will take this times that, which is negative 6h, and then negative 2th. All right. Now for this, I'm going to multiply the parts right here first, and then later on distribute the negative. So I see we have the 1 times 3, which is 1, I mean 3. <laughs> and then 1 times this is just the same thing, so t and then h, all right? And then we have the negative 2t, so we will get negative 6t, and then negative 2t squared, and lastly, we have no space. Let me try again. So 3 plus t plus h, and then negative 6t 
negative 2t squared and then minus 2th and then this is technically in a parenthesis and then we will have to distribute the negative check this out we will have the negative negative times the positive is a negative negative times the positive is a negative negative times the negative is positive positive and then positive all right and then everybody now all divided by the good news is we do not need to multiply this out anyway that will see h times 3 plus t and then 3 plus t plus h now here's the fun part the cancellations there will be things canceling 3 minus 3 out t minus t yeah no more and then we have this is minus h me mm, okay we here we have negative 6t cancel that with plus the 6t this is negative 2t squared cancel this out with positive 2t squared negative 6h no okay this is what negative 2th but this is positive 2th so this and that also cancel out so what exactly do we have left it seems that we have negative 6h and then don't forget here we still have a negative h and just take a look yeah that's the only two so we are looking at the limit as h approaching zero and then this and that together is negative 7h and of course we still have the bottom h times 3 plus t and then 3 plus t plus h and of course the h will cancel out and then finally we can just put a zero into the h so we are going to get negative 7 over 3 plus t and when h is 0 here this is the same as 3 plus t so we can just write this as 3 plus t squared right, so I think that should be pretty clear and this right here is the derivative for that function and um, right here for the domain well we still have to pay attention to the denominator we have to make sure that it's not equal to zero well t cannot be equal to negative three then so it's the same domain as the function but make sure that you always double check so i already as negative infinity to negative three and then union negative three to positive infinity just like that check out my other videos if you need more practice with the definition of derivative